my name is gaurav khurana and this is my channel urjial which is a polish word which means share in this video i am going to share there are five ways by which you can uh, inspect an element which uh, goes away if you click on it so there is a little difficulty in doing that but i'll share the five ways of doing that so let's begin this is the website if you like redbus.in if you click on this and you try to inspect it right it uh, goes away right you cannot uh, inspect it right if i want to do this wednesday it goes away so what are the five ways they were shared by uh, various people in the linkedin comments i'll share one by one all of them let's see how many uh, do you know so it's good to know there are various ways because uh, in some companies plugins are extensions are not allowed to be installed in chrome and all right so let's find the various way so the easiest way to do it is like uh, right click and open the inspect element right so i'll share the extension way at the last because sometimes people said that they cannot install extension so you go to console here and there is a script which was shared by so the first four ways are similar to each other so they they mean to do debugger things right so here if you see i have in console i have put this script set timeout function debugger so after 5 seconds it will switch on the debugger right this was shared by uh, kameshwara rao so let's see i have uh, i'll press enter and you will see a number over here right and meanwhile i'll press it so after 5 second it will uh, freeze the dome in way you can go to this uh, sources tab earlier we ran a script in the console in the second way we'll go to the sources tab so you can see that under page there are various scripts and all that are running so it's hard to find out that uh, where exactly if you click on this it will come right so the one way of applying the debugger point is like this but how you will apply it right so there is a easier or better way of applying it right if you don't know the script and all right which script will get clicked so if you know the script and all you can go there uh, right if you know that where this mede will come so you can click on this so this blue icon means there is a debugger point applied right but if you don't know that there is an option on the on this right side called as even list listener breakpoints so on what event you want the debugger to get started so since i will be doing a mouse click i have clicked it right now as soon as i'll click on this date it will start the debugger okay you see it's so easy right so whatever there are various options that are there right hope you learned something new in this right so this was the second way firstly we ran in console then we ran in sources like we learned how to apply the debugger now let's learn the third way which is based on a chrome extension so this is a chrome extension called as freeze dome uh, that was also that was shared by raghav uh, in the comments right so if you install this extension what you have to do is developer tools basically should be opened right and then after clicking whatever element you want you can go to extension and click on this freeze dome so that will do the task for you so it is also doing kind of a similar thing it's invoking the debugger function right so this is a third way by which we can uh, invoke the debugger options right uh, by doing that now let's see the one which i shared in my previous video which is uh, my favorite and that if you have this selector hub extension there there also there is this button called as turn on debugger it turns it on in 5 seconds you can customize it and change the timing so here i have set it for 3 seconds right so now what i'll do is i'll click on this and i'll click on this again right now you will see it has uh, again freezed it right so there are four ways as of now we have uh, discussed right so four of them were similar where we were opening debugger two via extension one is freeze dome one is selectors hub and other two ways that we saw earlier was running a script in the console or in sources you have set uh, by this option called as event listener breakpoints right that has made easier now let's see what is the fifth way by which we need we don't need this debugger so that was shared by rohit sharma so i have already written the code for that so it's like you will open the website you will click on that element right so instead of freezing things you can get the page source right so if you print that page source you will 
get the full source code right that is also one of the ways so you should be aware about various ways so i have pasted that uh, firstly that source code and then i have uh, copied that portion which i wanted like this calendar by i search with this monday forward slash so this bracket so i got this element and then i pasted it here and now i have the full dome so uh, this is a little like you cannot check your x paths are right or not or whatever element you will add but this is also one of the way if plugin and all those maybe developer tools are not opening for you right so these are the fifth ways so do let me know which one you like the most or which one you are using it and do subscribe to my channel if you like the content and follow me on linkedin linkedin was the place where i learned from all these people who have shared and thank you to them for sharing all of this thank you